Hello everybody. This is aimed at people with Adobe Illustrator and in particular Illustrator 2019 and onwards. Um, I don't know if you're aware that you can actually now, with a free plugin from Adobe Illustrator, send your cutting files directly to your machine, uh, scan and cut machines without having to export it through to the Canvas workspace, which is a vast improvement for anybody using this program. Um, you have to download the free plugin from Adobe. However, you do have to buy the software from whoever you buy your software from for the actual brother side of it. Now, I believe it costs approximately $26.99 in the UK. I'm not sure what it costs anywhere else in the world, but it's approximately that. Um, and you download, download both. And when you get your download, you'll find out that you've got a new little, in your drop dial find, down file menu, you've got Brother Scan and Cut link. And in this link, you can export an FCM file. You can transfer the file via the internet, transfer the FCM file to the Scan and Cut DSDX by USB cable, getting my words muddled today. Add registration marks and get help. Now, and then you've got the online menu, etc, etc, etc. So I have actually got a file here. It's several layers. It's six layers in actual fact. And it's a, a file that I have downloaded from a company called Special Hearts Studio. Now, this lady is very, very gracious. She has down, got loads and loads of cut files in SVG file form, DFX file, FCM file, file, etc., for us to play with. And she doesn't charge, you just have to log in and become a member of her site. And I think she's she's absolutely wonderful to enable us to do this. Now there's lots of ways you could do this and you could just send it to your file one one layer at a time, <coughs> etc. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a croaky voice today. But the way I do it is I just send it all in one go and then I just open up and cut the bits I want. So the, this is the file that I've, I've decided to cut today. As I say, it's six layers, very pretty. So all I need to do now, rather than export it to the um, Canvas workspace, I just go transfer file via the internet and then it just does its own stuff for a few moments. Often I find that with my, as is happening now, you'll see it's not responding my Adobe Illustrator. It's probably just my, my software that does that. I don't really know. But there you go. There's your file and it shows you all the different layers and it's ready to go to your, it's the same as the normal mat, as you can see. And if I just tip my camera down there, you just press OK and then you'll get your message as per normal that it's sending it to your machine. Okay, and there it's done. So it's absolutely wonderful. And if I can find it, yes, it is here. I shall just show you. There is my cut file. So you know that I've actually done it. Um, oops, it's a bit, a bit too big to show on here because of my, my but there, anyway, you get the gist of it. So there it is. And it's a very pretty file. And I'm very, very grateful to Special Heart Studios. And I'll put a link to them at the bottom. So just a quick video. Hope you're all keeping free of this terrible pandemic that we're all in all over the world. And I shall be back another time. Because as you can see, when you go down here to the Brother and Scat and Cut link, there's an add registration mark link. And I will do another video on that and I shall try and compare cutting something with registrating registration marks as opposed to scanning it in directly on the scanner and cutting it and see if there's a lot of difference and if it's worth having the registration mark software, which is again another slight purchase from brother scan and cut because nothing comes from free nowadays sadly but they do keep the machines updated so i hope you enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching have a good week cheers now bye bye